biggest difference between college and physical therapy school that I've noticed so far is Stop looking in. Hi guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be doing a fall morning routine as a physical therapy student. And I'm going to be doing it kind of like a vlog style, so I'm going to take you along with me for my morning up until probably about lunchtime. So let's get started with the day. As you saw in the intro, I woke up, I took Teddy on a walk, and then I came back in and I washed my face and made my bed so now it's time to make my to-do list for the day. I figured I would mention this but my physical therapy program we actually don't have class on Wednesdays which I know is not very common at all and I absolutely love it. All we have is service learning activity from 1 30 to 2 30 but that's on zoom so I pretty much have the whole day to study do a homework and kind of just run errands and get ahead and honestly just rest because you really do need rest in PT school my coffee. This is a La Cologne pumpkin spice cold brew. I got it from Trader Joe's. Really, really good. I've had it the past few days. So I'm going to sit and have my coffee and make my to-do list for the day. Don't stop looking in my eyes. So this is how I make my to-do list. I really only make them on Wednesdays and on the weekends because the other days I'm in class from 7.30 to about 4 or 5 o'clock. So I kind of just have time to do homework after class. But the days that I have other stuff to do, I make a to-do list. So I'm vlogging this morning, and then I have to edit and upload it to get it up by Thursday for you guys. I have to go get my allergy shots, which is probably the first thing I'll do. I'll talk about those in a little bit. I have my service learning. I want to work out. I'm having dinner with my boyfriend, and I'm practicing some things with him. And then down here, I have all the school assignments I have to do and all of the other random stuff I want to get done today. So I really like the system. It's been working really well for me. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready and then I'm going to head to my allergist appointment. So I just got changed. I'm wearing a flannel today because you got to go with the fall themed morning routine right and wear a flannel. So I'm wearing a flannel. Still need to finish my coffee but I'm in my bathroom because I need to do some makeup. And I actually got a new product yesterday. I picked up a BB cream. And doesn't this just remind you of like 2014 YouTube and Bethany Moda? Because it definitely reminds me of that. But I wanted to get something to wear on my face every day. But I hate wearing foundation. And my concealer, like since I have freckles, it looks kind of weird if I just wear concealer and no foundation. So I picked up some BB cream and I'm going to see if all this is working. My first impressions are it's really lightweight. It matches my skin tone perfectly, and I like it. I'm really happy that I bought it, and I think I'll keep using it. So I'm about to head to the allergist, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit real quick. My flannel is from Target. My tank top is from American Eagle. That was Teddy. Leggings from the Lemon. Some Air Force Ones. And this random bag that I believe my mom got me when she was in Italy. But I am bringing my iPad to the allergist because... You have to stay for 30 minutes after you get your injections, and I hate sitting there and having nothing to do. So bringing some room to study, and of course bringing you guys too. So I'm about to head to the allergist, and I have an RX bar here. I have an RX bar here, so I'm going to eat that quick before I go, because if I wait another 40 minutes till I get home, I know I'll be super, super hungry, because I'm the kind of person that needs to eat kind of something right when they wake up, or else they... Get really hungry um so yeah I've never talked about my allergy shots before on my channel but I started getting them in July because if you know me you know that I'm allergic to absolutely everything so I have to go get shots about once or twice a week and I go every single Wednesday morning because like I said I don't have class so it's just obviously the most convenient time to go so this morning routine is very true to Wednesdays the other days of the week when I have class we have to be there at 7 30 so I wake up a little earlier Usually, unless I'm running late, and then I'm just kind of scrambling around trying to get out of the door. Which is why I'm filming this morning routine on Wednesdays, because it's much more relaxed and also more fun <clears throat> for you guys to watch, in my opinion. So, let's go to the allergist. So, I just finished my allergy shots. Sorry, it's really bright right now. I'm literally 
being blinded, but I was able to study anatomy for about 30 minutes. My test on Friday is on the foot, ankle, and lower leg, and I will say one thing I love about PT school is everyone shares their study materials. Like, we have a Google Drive with Google folders, and people will put study guides in there and Quizlets and stuff like that, and honestly, it's just so helpful because you can see, like, what they think is important, and it just is like another way of seeing the material so I was just looking at some quizlets and study guides that people made and it's just helpful to kind of gauge where you're at so I'm gonna drive home now and then get started on some homework assignments I don't have that many but I just want to knock them out so then I can just study the rest of the day so let's drive home so I'm back home now it is currently about nine o'clock and I'm going to get started on my homework assignments like I said I only have two things to do I have to read a patient case for pharmacology answer some questions and then read for my leadership class and also answer some questions for that so I'm going to try to knock that out so I can just dedicate the rest of the day to studying for my anatomy exam which is this Friday so let's get working I've finally done all my true homework assignments that I had to do and turn in before class tomorrow. So now it is on to studying for my anatomy test. So basically what I'm going to be doing is taking my iPad here. And like I said before, we do have recorded lectures for that class. So I take notes directly on the slide with my Apple Pencil. But now I'm going to go back and kind of make a cute aesthetic looking study guide from my notes. Um, and just kind of getting a general idea of what I know, what I don't know. Um, the good thing about anatomy is we have the recorded lectures, we have cadaver lab, and then we have applied anatomy where we practice the skills. So we've been talking about the ankle and lower leg all of the time, and we have weekly quiz quizzes on every Friday on all of the muscles. Um, so we've had two ankle quizzes. So I have been kind of studying a little bit every day for the exam, which is nice because it's not like I'll have to cram all this information into my brain. It really, really helps to split it up and do it a little bit at a time. One thing I will say though, the biggest difference between college and physical therapy school that I've noticed so far is that you really need to figure out how, sorry, the lighting is like really weird right now. Um, you really need to figure out how to learn things for the long term. It's not like in undergrad when you're studying for a chem test and you memorize the solubility rules and then in one year out the other. In PT school you truly need to long-term retain all this information because my test is on the foot and ankle and I'm going to be treating patients that have things wrong with their foot and ankle so that's kind of been the biggest change for me is just kind of adapting to that and learning not to cram and get good grades like I probably did most of the time in college but really studying a little bit at the time at a time to promote kind of long-term learning and all of that so that's especially been important for anatomy for me because that is by far the most important thing that a PT has to know is anatomy so I'm going to get studying I'm probably gonna end the vlog in about an hour or so just because I'm not really doing too much today and this technically is a morning routine so let's get studying so I'm currently on a five minute break from studying. If you watch my vlogs before, you know that I use the Focus Keeper timer. So I study for 25 minutes, then take a five minute break for as long as I need till I feel like I'm done studying. So I had my notes from class here. And then basically I was just going through and making myself a little study guide. And I got a good bit of stuff done. This test is on a ton, ton, ton of material. But like I said before, we've been working with it a lot in class, so it's not as bad as it looks. So I'm going to end this vlog here, but thank you guys so, so much for watching and supporting my channel. I've gotten quite a bit of physical therapy student slash pre-PT student subscribers lately, so that's super exciting. I love this community that we are building. If you guys have any video requests, please be sure to leave them down below, and I'd be more than happy to do them for you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys next Thursday. Bye, friends.